<laughs> okay. What's, uh, what's your next topic, sir? My next topic. All right. So I, because I have this sleeping problem at like a decent time, I haven't got to like the Fresh Prince reunion yet. But okay. I know this is a big moment right now. So I wanted to tap in. I know you watched it. Talk mm-hmm. to the people. Give me your spiel. No. Give me your spiel. Okay, so um, Fresh Prince special. Lakers kept Marquise Morris. Yeah, we'll get to sports. A lot of sports. A lot of sports. A lot of sports. It just came in. All right, here we go. A lot of sports. A lot of sports. A lot of sports. Um, uh, I loved it. I loved the Fresh Prince as a kid. Uh, okay. I was, I've seen every episode. I used to watch it live as a kid. Uh, my mom loved it. My brother loved it. Uh, it was just something that we watched when it came on, and um, seeing the like seeing everybody still like. Like Carlton Alfonso Ribeiro, uh, Ribeiro, he still looks. Everybody's aging great. Like he still looks good. They do Ashley look Banks good. still looks good. Hillary ah, still looks good. All right, Hillary still looks great. Um, even you know the light skin Aunt Viv, like she's aging great. Um, Jeffrey still looks good. Jeffrey like, looks it's, good. It's, man. Just, it's just good to see that. Like sometimes you watch TV shows and some of your favorite characters look like they've fallen on hard times. You know what I'm saying? And like, they just look like they are having a tough time about it. And none of them look like that. At least that's not how they looked. I'm not sure how like, you know, Hey man, the money, the the money, the the money was nice. The money was nice. Syndication money is also nice. Um, it catapulted Will Smith from just like, you know, a Philly rapper into this like mega star that he is right now. Uh, it was the emotional part was James Avery not being there, Uncle Phil not being there, and they did like this this whole montage of him and seeing the connection that he had with the rest of the cast. That was really emotional. My girl got a little got a little misty eyed when that happened. Um, you could just say you both got misty eyed though. You could just say that. I didn't get misty eyed. Okay. I was I got emotional. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. If I, I I have no problem admitting if I got misty eyed or not. I just want to just want to test your level of vulnerability, bro. I don't- <laughs> Um, but it was, it was good. And then I know you wanted to talk about like the on Viv beef. <laughs> well, beef I just between, saw that. Yeah. Space, where I want to get to was, um, a couple of different things in that. So I, I did not watch the red table yet, but first mm-hmm. I want to talk about the red table. I um, hate that table. Okay. Just wanted to ask, what do you like? What do you think about the red table? Are we over it? Is it I'm good? Over it. We're over it. Why are we over it? I think once it became a red table talk about August Alsina. That kind of stained the red table. Okay. I feel like I kind of took a little bit of uh it was more like sensationalized than anything else. Like I, I think it lost a little bit of his authenticity. Okay, okay, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Like, like it was like because we didn't really get nothing really. That was whack. What did like what did we get from that? Besides yeah, that was like, whack. us that was the wackest like, table. Besides like salacious information and us feeding our need to be in everybody else's business. Yeah, we, we tapped. Oh, tapped and we tapped it. into it hard. I was we like, tapped babe, into it really we were driving hard. driving to DC. I'm like, babe, yeah. put it on your phone. We gotta tap into the red table. Yeah, me and Shorty watched it together. Fucking Instagram, bro. Uh right here in this living room. Oh, um sick. And then like we discussed it, which cause it had to be discussed. I don't had to I don't be reg- discussed. I don't, I don't regret that at all. But no, I just feel like it's discussed though. Yeah, I just feel like I it's mean, it's staying the red table though. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. That's a very good point, Trev. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, Will does his red table, and he talks to the original Aunt Viv. And uh, well, not during not during the red table. At the red table, I think no. he was talking to a psychologist, but he was talking about his conversation with- He was talking about his conversation um, with- Janet Hubbard. Hubbard. Janet yeah. Hubbard. And yes. um, something that Will really tapped into is because we know, like, the success of the Fresh Prince. We know the fame of Will Smith. And mm-hmm. then we know that one day there was, like, a dark skin on Viv and there was a light skin like, on Viv. And we're like, oh, what happened? And really, like, one thing that we, we like, never talk about in, in the journeys is that when we get power, when someone gets a taste of power, like, Will Smith talks about who he became, he was a young rising star on the show with power. Mm-hmm. And he had, so once he didn't, he, the whole thing was that like Aunt Viv thought he was going a little too crazy. As any auntie would, right? And he didn't yeah. like the fact that he was being challenged on that. And because he mm-hmm. didn't get her approval, he was like, yo, you're out of here. But that's what power does. And so I just think that it was really big for Will to kind of like recognize that, that he made a mistake because she also mentioned that like her career was, not the same, that. derailed after yeah. that. And it's like the effects of like that we have sometimes that we don't 
really necessarily see who catches the stray bullets for our actions. Oh, that was those weren't strays. But those, those weren't were, strays. Those, those were really, bullseyes. Those are direct bullseyes. Direct shot, like, direct shots. And it's like sometimes as men, we want to feed our egos so much. All the time. We, all the time. It's like I, I got to right, but mm-hmm. it's when we, especially when it comes to like male versus female, like a direct bullet derailed her from her career. And I just thought that was like you know that's tough. Um, I just wanted to see your thoughts on that. So in the from. um. In the special, she explains that like her departure from the show was because her contract was up and she was pregnant. She was pregnant in the show, pregnant in real life. Um, and she wanted to make sure that like her family was secure, make sure that she got a bag so that she could support her family. They didn't want to give her the bag. They they devalued her influence on the show. Okay. And that probably had something to do with the success of Will. And right. something to do with, like, they feel like Will could carry this regardless of who on Viv is. Right. Um, so they decided just not to renew contracts. So she goes her way. Will describes her as difficult in the industry. Describes working mm. with her as as difficult. And she expresses that uh, a dark-skinned black woman in the 90s in Hollywood <laughs> getting the um, the description of her of her work interactions is difficult. Is a it's like a scarlet letter. It's bro, who wants? Uh, uh, it's a sign on your forehead that, and nobody wants to work with you after that. Especially this kid that's rising, that's in Independence Day and has hundred million dollar movies, Men in Black, all of this. He's telling you that you're difficult, and people are hearing that. Nobody's gonna want to work with you. And she also expressed that during that period in time, she was in an, uh, an abusive marriage, where she would go home and she would get her ass beat every day by her husband, and and ha- and had this baby, first time mom. So she was going through a bunch of stuff that the rest of the wow. cast didn't know about. So good. And there were there were no levels of she didn't feel any levels of empathy from from any of them, especially regarding the contract uh, discussions. And then so she said what she said about Will in the media, and they went back and forth for years and years and years and years. And they referenced that in the special, they haven't spoken for 27 years. Like them wow. having that conversation in the special was the first time they spoke face to face without like exchanging jabs in the media for 27 years. What kind of jabs? Give the people the jabs. What kind of jabs? Um, I don't have like the specific ones, oh. but she was saying how he's like a petulant child. He's immature, um, doesn't know how to handle fame. He's saying that she's difficult. He's saying that she's jealous of his fame. And this is Will at maybe 22, 21 years old. Yeah, imagine you know, that on, though. On imagine top of that. The, and he's back, this is back in the day when TV is king. Like you had a hit show, TV is king, appointment television, like setting your calendar to go watch a TV show, whether it's you know, the Fresh Prince. And, there, and he was referencing, there was only three black shows on TV at the time. It was probably Fresh Prince, Martin, and Family Matters. That, that, like, that was yeah. it. You know, so everybody, every black we, family's tapping in every week the to block, those shows. Though, they held the block down. Yeah, all, like, all yeah, three yeah, of those yeah, shows yeah, did. Yeah, 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 they yeah, were yeah. all They were all massive, shout massive out, shout shows. Shout out to just black television, like, representing just black families, Putting yeah. like just putting us on the screen, mm-hmm. so like people could see like just a different version, bro. Just a yeah. different color, literally a different color. Like that's a big movement, man. Like what they're pioneers for just like where we are. Because then you see, you see like Tyler Perry's a billionaire, right? And yep. it's like if 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 these shows, if these actors and actresses, she was dealing with an abusive husband. And show and, and a first time being a first time mother and showing up to work. So just imagine like if she didn't show like strength, like just doing the things that she was doing, right? To set such a successful mm-hmm. show like Fresh Prince, we wouldn't have the things that we have. Like little black girls wouldn't see a Aunt Viv dark, on TV. Dark skin Aunt Viv and Aunt dark Aunt Tatiana skin. Ali being a dark skin girl. Come um, on, man. Like that's big, bro. That's yeah. huge. It was, it's it, it was it was a it was definitely like a, a historic, like pioneering you know, type of television show. Um, and then, like, one of the biggest parts that they mentioned in the special also was that the special thing about the family wasn't that they were rich. It was that they, like, stuck together. And, like, they right. had these moments where, like, Uncle Phil would step in for Will as, like, a surrogate dad. Um, they had these things where, like, Will is from a certain, like, lifestyle and then Carlton is from a certain lifestyle. But, like, they had their commonalities and they love each other and they're there for each other. Um, even like, you know, some of the episodes where Hillary is kind of like the airhead, like ditzy type of girl, but like you see those episodes where like she's dropped out of school and she's afraid to tell her parents. And then they have that conversation with her mom and her mom reassures her that, listen, man, you're going to make mistakes in life, but we're here for you. 
like I I love the Fresh Prince. Yo, I, I think it's I think it's amazing. Something? Yeah. What I think is so beautiful, right, is like as kids, um, because. I speak for myself in this. As a kid, we sit there and we just laugh and we laugh and we laugh. This is good. This is whatever. And mm -hmm. like, then as adults, you kind of like watch the reruns and then you watch the lessons that yeah, they were different. really, it hits different. Like even from, even the relationship of Martin and Gina, right? Like, like you just watch, like we laugh at the relationship of Martin and Gina, but it's really about endurance. It's really about like, like sacrifices is like there's really stories behind the writing like like we I don't think we give enough credit to like the shows that we came up on for like the lessons in which they were trying to also have us learn while laughing yeah there was the um like given like I guess like the social climate right now there's two episodes of the Fresh Prince that come to mind when Carlton's driving and um he's from a different type of lifestyle and Will of course is from you know Philly the streets streets the streets and um, they get pulled over and Carlton From thinks it's a great thing because, because they're, that's crazy, right? And then um, Carlton thinks it's a great thing because like police are supposed to have his back and then Will is afraid of the police like like most of us are. Um, and they just approach the situation totally differently. You know, well, Will is, you know, put your hands on the wheel, don't say anything. And it takes like Uncle Phil coming through as an attorney and, you know, basically like putting his foot down saying like what you guys are doing is fucked up. And then the other episode where um they're doing like a court case practice and jazz is in the uh the witness seat and the bailiff is reading him his rights and jazz just has his hands up like this and he was like i put my hands down next thing you know i got six warning shots in my back and it's like we laugh at that then we laugh but it's but from a real place it's from hey, a real and place what, of and trauma like, and pain and I think, where did that when did that drop though and I know that's not even on the docket for today but when did that drop and what is the difference between then and now not uh, not much Crazy. 